everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back. Uh, I got another journal to share with you guys. Um, like I told you, I'm really working hard to try to clear out some of my um, items, and I had some leftover um, digital images from this Autumn Whispers kit, and I just love it. So I thought, oh, since it's that time of year, I want to just take advantage and and get as many journals uh, created as I can out of it. Um, so this one again, it's about six and a quarter by nine inches. Um, I used an envelope, reinforced it, and then did a five hole pamphlet stitch uh, to hold it. And yeah, the cover just I just sat down. I kind of knew I wanted something that was very rustic um, to kind of look like a patchwork quilt, but I wanted it to be very muted too. So <laughs> I ended up with my scrap um, tea dyed papers. I just begun layering lots of them, and it does really feel nice. I, I you know, I really like. Um, to touch things and I like things to have a really nice feel and this one's just I really love it I love how it's come out of course there's that old sly fox on the, the cover what a beautiful image and here I just did some um, I've got loads of cardstock left over from my uh, Stampin' Up! days so I just dug through got any colors that um, went <clears throat> you know in my mind the autumn and I started cutting out these. I believe these are Tim Holtz leaves, but I can't swear to that. They could just be Sizzix, but I think they may have been Tim Holtz. Um, but anyways, they're beautiful little maple, you know, and then your, um, I think those are acorn leaves or no, what is that? Oak, oak, yeah, <laughs> oak leaves. Um, so I've just started layering those. I've used those throughout and then this um, I've just put this little title on there The Unknown World is Beautiful. Um, so yeah I'm really pleased to how that's come out. Uh, I've got some seam binding <coughs> to close it with and then here's the front page. Like I said I wanted this to be a really rustic one so I tried to stick with a lot of my papers. I did lots of stamping and then um, just various images that I had. Now here I created a booklet with the little cutout from the Autumn Whisperers kit and just put some extra papers in there. So there's more journaling space there and again this is a uh, family tree so you can make some notes there. And then here's, I um, believe this is Miss Cog from her, um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was the pollinator kit, I can't remember because I ordered a couple of them. And then this is a um, Tracy Fox from a kit off of her. So there's, like I said, it's, it's just um, what I've had left over and I am determined to dwindle down this stash of papers and excuse me, embellishments. Um, here I did a some stamping. The tea dyeing came out really nice this last batch. Um, and then I've just done various additions to it. Some Edith Holden papers are in here. Um, here, this is a stamp I've had for years. I love that with that cat watching those leaves fall. I think that's such a cute image. Um, and it's just more tags. This will have some lace. I don't know. I'll leave that out because I don't know why that didn't get lace put on it. Um, some more um, pieces of paper from the Autumn Whispers I've just cut up as some little tags. Book pa um, <clears throat> Vintage book page put in here. I've put some little uh, tabs out of old laces and such. Um, more of the Tracy Fox that I had left over and this is from the uh, kit, a little tag, love those. 
And here I've just done a, um, a cutout, a reverse um, cutout on that and did some stitching around it. I like it for the added interest. And here is a beautiful image from Edith Holden. Um, some more little journaling places for you. Now this one I glued, so this is just a little envelope. Get those tucked in. I believe, um, yeah, these were on this side. This is another little envelope journaling card. Um, I believe this has got 68 pages, this, this journal, front and back. Um, but if you're interested, obviously, um, the, the details will be in the, in the listing. And I'll put a link below. Here I've got a, a little envelope that you can add some things to. Um, just created another little tuck spot here and did some layering. There's some more of those leaves that I cut out. Love all these. Just gorgeous. And, and what I like, everything seemed to have coordinated nicely. Um, here I've got another journaling card <clears throat> and a couple more tags. Some more vintage paper so you can do more journaling. Here, um, this is some of the Tim Holtz wildflowers uh, framelit, I think. Some tracing paper, he dyed that, and here's another of the little cutouts. I really like those. I don't know why I didn't think about those before. It's funny, isn't it? As you're making journals, you come up with ideas and you think, well, why did it take me so long to come up with that? Um, some more journaling cards. This is a um, an envelope. I've just stuck it in there. It's not been glued to the page so that you can, can move that around. It's all tea dyed. Yeah, that tea, um, this is the Rubius tea, and, and depending on how the, you know, depending on the quality of your paper and how long you leave it, it can end up as dark as, uh, as coffee dyeing, but what I like about it, it's a much warmer color. I just, I love it. love that. And I can't remember who, um, it's been probably a year ago, a lady on Junk Journal Junkies had shared that that's what she used, and I've only just gotten around to doing it uh, recently, which is a shame. I wish I would have switched to it sooner. This is the center of the signature, and I've just I've put some little leaves at the end of the, the signature strings, and I think those are really cute. More writing space. Um, here's a little <clears throat> pocket. Here I've just done a little paper clip and added another little uh, Royal Horticulture postcard so you can do journaling on the back of that. Um, this was just tucked in here. More papers. And this little pocket I've just... Um, included this little envelope so you can either glue that together or just keep it open for writing. Um, a couple more tags. I love autumn. I'm so glad to see these cooler temperatures finally here. It's just been a ridiculously hot summer. We, um, <clears throat> I don't know if any of you f don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know. Um, before our move, I had uh, bought myself a, a conversion van about a year ago, and, and little by little we've been trying to make sure, you know, all of the little kinks were out of it before we, we did a road trip, because we knew we were coming back, and uh, I, I've just been wanting to do a road trip, so it, it was an old van, it was 20 years old, but it was in beautiful condition. But after buying it, um, yeah, the guy that sold it to us did a dirty number on us. Um, but that's, you know, that's people. Sometimes they're not as honest as, as you want them to be. But in the end, we got it all working, running good. And um, I did a, a four-week, well, it ended up almost five-week um, road trip up the East Coast. 
because um, I've got a son in D.C. and Paul's got a boy up in Ottawa, Canada. So we combined it with seeing our kids and um, and we lived in the van for the for the five weeks. We didn't stay in a hotel. We just we just stopped in rest areas and campsites and um, did it on the cheap. But it was fantastic and. Um, the shock for me is I'm used to, to going out west. Uh, we always traveled to Colorado in the summer, and out there, you know, it's a dry heat and always cools down at night. And I was just expecting that, and oh my goodness, did we get a shock on the east coast this year. It was just unbelievably hot. And in the van at night, you couldn't run the AC. Uh, without running the car because, you know, it's, you'd have to have the, the van running. So, uh, yeah, it was a challenge. And I wished, you know, in hindsight, I wish we had done the, the West Coast. But it was nice seeing the kids. So it it, uh, it was a nice trip. But so anyways, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm glad to have the cooler temperatures now. It's It's been a hot, hot year. So, yeah, more tags and journal spaces and October. I love that. Yeah, I really like getting the sweaters out. This is the back, and on the back you could add something here, but I thought it'd be kind of nice. I did a little flip so you could do extra journaling, and then here I did another pocket. Um, so as you can see, it's a really rustic um, journal. I'm pleased with how it's come out. It's it's just autumn to me. <laughs> so there you go. I just thought really quickly I'll show you guys. I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, what I'm working on, and so I thought I'd just share with you guys because I've got a lot of projects going at the moment, and I'll just give you a quick uh, look at what I'm doing. Um, clearing out. Uh, scraps. So here, this is the next one. Well, I'm working out. I don't know if it'd be my next journal complete, but it's it's. I've been working on this one for a while. I've just done another little patchwork mini, and this is if if you recognize this is dreams, etc. I had some stuff left over, and I did some uh, of the snippet pockets out of the same kit and I love how this has come out. I can't wait to get this one done but that's the inside of it. I've just got to add the signature to it and and I think these are going to fit in. They might be tight. I don't know. I'm hoping I can work those into it. So that's one thing I'm working on. Um, another batch of journals are these. I've just completed these uh, covers. I've got the signatures kind of put together inside. Uh, most of these are Tim Holtz fabrics, but, and I'll go through them, but these two, let me stick, stick those over. Sorry, I've, got to, I've still got to sort out this camera. Um, I, I had my husband cut it down. He's cut it too short now. Um, these are not Tim Holtz, but oh my gosh, aren't they fabulous. It's like a watercolor and it's like a velvet material. Now this was from the um, interior designer. She had um, some large pieces of this left over from a job she had done and, and I managed to get my hands on it. They are fabulous, fabulous. This one I think is my favorite. I don't know, there's something about that. It is just lovely and you, you're gonna love the feel of that. But like I said, I've, I've still, this is what I'm working on. I've got 10 of these. These are all Tim Holtz uh, fabrics. You can see. <clears throat> so, lots of uh, work ahead of me. But I, um, I tend, I've got, I think I counted, I've got another 18 journals in the making. But, I have, I find for me, I have to work this way because I get really fed up on any one project. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? I thought I had done two of these, but I haven't. This is Tim Holtz, but isn't that gorgeous paper, uh, fabric? And this is Tim Holtz, of course, and Tim Holtz. 
Um, so that's another 10 fabric journals I'm working on. Um, and then I've got a couple of other ones that are in the drawer. I won't bother getting those out. But yeah, I have to, um, I have to just have several things going because I get bored and I need to stop and take a break from one thing and then I move on, work on something else. But um, yeah, I'm excited about these. I've had this material for oh, probably a good eight months and with everything going on we were you know trying to make this move then I had the road trip uh, that I wanted to do before before we left um, it's just everything's had to just be put on the back burner but I'm so happy to be back and be able to start getting into a, a more regular routine and that's why I'm I'm trying to you know be more regular with my um, YouTube videos because I I, I just I think it's really important um, to keep in touch with you guys and let you know what's going on. But anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't entered my giveaway, go through um, and be sure and do that because I'm going to probably close it in about another week. Um, so I appreciate if you've already... Um, entered for that. Thank you very much. And if you haven't, just hop on over and do that. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you back here very soon. Bye.